to Ultimate Exotics. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at some incredible leopard gecko morphs that we bred here at Ultimate Exotics. Now at Ultimate Exotics, we breed a lot of leopard geckos and we have a wide variety of different color and pattern morphs that we breed with the leopard geckos. And in today's video, I'm going to go and select some of my favorite holdbacks. And these are a combination of pattern and color morphs. And they're just some incredibly, be incredibly beautiful leopard geckos. Now, what's so great about these leopard geckos is when leopard geckos hatch out, they are very bright and beautiful babies. But their colors from the time that they are hatchling compared to the times that they are sub-adults or adults is very different. And the geckos that we're going to be looking at today have had a chance to grow and develop their sub-adult colors. So we can get a good idea and see quite clearly how these geckos are going to look as adults and we can clearly see the effect that the morphs have on these geckos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go choose some of these, uh, or some of my favorite holdbacks and we're going to go have a look at them. So let's go check them out. Okay, so first up we have these incredible sun glow leopard geckos. And now what's special about these is we have been line breeding these for a number of generations for uh, extra orange or tangerine color. And these are going almost towards red. They are so deep in the orange color. And now what a sun glow is, it's an albino super hypo tangerine. And like we said, the tangerine in these sun glows is much more enhanced than uh, you would find in your regular sun glow. So we are line breeding these to try and improve the tangerine and make sure that they are, they are as orange as they can be. And now these guys are only about four months old. And what happens with the tangerine is it often only develops as they get older. So these are only going to get more and more orange. So we're very excited with the progress on these special sun glows. And now the sun glows being albino and these being mostly nocturnal geckos with the bright light that we have on here, their eyes do close up just because the, the light is a little bit bright for them. Um, but we're going to move them back into their enclosures now where it's a little bit darker and they're much more happy there. And I've got one more here from the same line. This one is about to shed, so it's a little bit duller. But just look at those two geckos. They are so impressive. The orange in these is just getting brighter and brighter with each generation. And it's incredible how bright they're actually getting. They're just incredible geckos. Okay guys, so we have another two beautiful leopard geckos here. On the left we have a Max Snow Bold Stripe. And on the right is the same thing, but it also has Enigma in it. And Enigma usually results in a, a black eye or a very dark eye. And then it has a speckled broken pattern like you can see. And then it often has a, a pied markings on the tip of its nose and it's on its legs. And these are just beautiful examples of Max Snows and two different varieties. And they're just so unique as well. And what's so nice about the Max Snow is it brings, it really dilutes the color and brings out the whites and even dilutes the yellow. So the yellows are very pale, pastel-like colors. And they are nice contrasting gecko, quite different to the other brighter morphs. So very nice in their own unique way. Just look how cool these guys are. This one has an incredible eye and eye markings. You can just see the bold pattern on the back of this one. This one's much lighter. But two incredible leopard gecko holdbacks. We're very happy with these. Okay guys, so up next we have some of our bold stripe lines. And what we have is our tangerine bold stripe lines. and. The gecko at the back is a tangerine bold stripe eclipse. You can see the solid black eye, the broken pattern, the spots on the tail, and then the pied on the nose. And also, if you have a look at its legs, you can see pied markings on its legs. And it has just turned out to be such an incredible animal. And the bold striping um, results in these big, bold, dark patterns that maintain right um, through adulthood. And it's got also the enigmas broken the pattern up and made quite an unusual pattern on the face. And I just love the pied white marking on the nose and on the legs. It is just such a beautiful animal. And here we have the same uh, well, another animal, but this is now a super hyper version of the tangerine bold stripe. Nice dark orange color. 
but you can still see the where it's black it's very dark and black but just some incredible geckos i just love this animal such a unique looking ge uh, leopard gecko okay so next up we have a tangerine wny and enigma leopard gecko so these are just really beautiful the enigma affects the pattern and really gives the unusual color the Enigma also enhances the tangerine and it increases it, making it much brighter. So you can see how bright orange their heads are. They have these beautiful yellow bodies. And then the W and Y, which is, uh, which is white and yellow, it's a morph which increases the white on the side of the gecko, which you can see the, the stripe on the belly over here. You see how high the white is on the side there? And then they often have a faint white stripe that runs down the center of their backs. You can see that white stripe that runs down the center of their backs. So that's the W and Y. And these are another just two incredible leopard geckos. Beautiful morph combos. Okay, so here we have another two beautiful leopard geckos. The first one here at the bottom is a red stripe tangerine chocolate albino leopard gecko and here we have a very unique looking tangerine chocolate albino and it's just got this incredible lavender colors and the chocolate albino uh, keeps the dark color pigments and you can see the red stripe here where the pattern fades away on the body it only has pattern on the head and the tail and you can see the red coming into the into the head as well but two incredible looking leopard geckos. Just so beautiful. They're such an incredible species and these color morphs, they just seem endless at the moment. And we're developing some really nice new colors and pattern morphs and morph combos. And they're just so fun to work with. So guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing those beautiful leopard gecko morphs that we have bred here at Ultimate Exotics. It makes me really proud to have a look at those morphs and see how beautiful they are and how they've developed as they've grown. It's been really great seeing how they've changed and developed their colors and patterns uh, from a small little hatchling into a sub-adult. And we're looking forward to seeing them grow and change color even more as they mature into adults. And we're super excited to breed them and continue these projects that we're doing here at Ultimate Exotics. Now, just by looking at those incredible colors that we saw in those leopard geckos, that is why the leopard gecko is definitely one of the most popular pet geckos in the world. And uh, the variety of colors and pattern is just endless, and more and more colors are, and morphs are being developed all the time. And we're also developing our own lines here at Ultimate Exotics, which is really exciting, and it makes it a really fun species for us to work with. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment below. And most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep well. Cheers.